Hi there! Today I want to show you not one, but two groundbreaking solutions. So first off, workflow automation tools are not particularly designed for a multi-user setup, meaning you have to statically define credentials within the setup. Especially when talking about productivity, I came across multiple use cases where each user would need to set up and maintain their own automations because the API access to their own scope is bound to their individual credentials. One example, which is topic number two for today, is an automation which converts emails into actionable tasks in Notion, similar to Asana's feature, but better, thanks to AI. Let me walk you through a demo which provides a solution for both topics at once. Here I have an email which I would like to turn into a task in Notion. To do so, I just forward it to a specific email address which is already stored in my contacts. After a short period of time, a task with a proper title and description is being automatically created based on the content of the email. It also contains a short summary and some metadata as a reference. Before we go into detail how the workflow behind the scene works, let me show you how easy it is to set up this individual automation. This is a lightweight platform, an internal tool, built with software and Airtable, which is easily accessible by end users who are rather not technical and just want to use the solution. Let me quickly sign in. After login, I can see my defined routes, meaning the configuration which binds a Notion database to an email address where messages can be forwarded to. One user can even configure multiple routes. It just requires a nickname, the Notion API token, and the database URL. After adding, a new email alias gets generated automatically. There is also the option to disable a route, but more to that later. If you ask why email forwarding instead of a plugin or similar, it is available cross-platform and supports all email providers, and with the address stored in context, it is still fast to use. Now, how does this work in the backend? This is a workflow built with N8N. Let's break it down quickly. It starts with a trigger node, which is waiting for new messages sent to a Gmail account. Why Gmail? It has this amazing feature built in to create aliases on the fly. This is the recently forwarded email, and you can see that the label indicates that it already has been processed. This we can use to filter by and thus prevent from double processing. With a regular expression, it is pretty easy to extract the route ID from the email alias we just generated during setup. And with that, we can retrieve the belonging information from Airtable. Let's quickly jump over there. So here we have a fairly simple data structure consisting of users, mostly required for the login, and routes containing all the information which was set using the software portal. After retrieval, only active routes continue being processed. And here is where the magic happens. A custom AI agent that interprets the content of the email and generates a proper task among a summary and some metadata. The output parser then helps to get consistently structured JSON, which then can be converted into Notion blocks. This is the only place where we need custom code since the structure is quite complex and moreover dynamic. Here, the blocks are being built and combined so they can be added to the final object, which also contains the destination database ID. This object then can be sent to the Notion API. The specialty here is that we do not use a predefined credential, but instead pass through a specific one in the header section. Finally, the email is marked as processed in Gmail. There is also some error handling built in. If the task could not be created, the route will be deactivated to prevent an unnecessary loop of error messages, and the end user retrieves an email stating the error and some suggestions. The user then has the ability to reactivate the route by himself and fixing potential errors. A similar notification is also being sent when no corresponding route could be found. 
In both cases, the message in Gmail is marked with a label called error. You want a free copy of this solution? Check out the links in the description below. And that's all for today. See you soon.